committed no, any, he committed no crime. They went to Kenya to kidnap Mazin Nanekano, and they brought Mazin Nanekano to Nigeria through extraordinary relations, which is against international law. Peter Ubi knows about this. That the kidnap of Mazin Nanekano is a crime. The ex a extraordinary relation of Mazin Nanekano to Nigeria is a crime. Have you ever seen Peter Ubi make a case for Mazin Nanekano anywhere? Have you seen him call for the reason of Mazin Nanekano? And you are hoping that somehow P2B can change it in. When P2B cannot be proud and bold to demand for the freedom of his own brother, what do you think he can do for you? Do you think he can do for you anything when he gets to the, If by any means, if by magic, he gets to Asarok, do you think he can do anything for you? Do you think he can do anything for you? You will not speak about your, but the same Muhammad, the late Muhammad Buhari, late Muhammad Buhari was fighting for the Boko Haram and still fighting for them. Fighting for the foreign is and still for the foreign, and he was contested for election and he won. This same Kwan Kwaso, Kwan Kwaso that he's trying to go in alliance with, Kwan Kwaso has been fighting for the Boko Haram, the terrorists. Kwan Kwaso has been making a case for the terrorists, standing with them. He has been supporting the headsmen, standing with them, and he's not shying away from it. And he continues to do it. Look at Atiku Abaka. Atiku Abubaka is still supporting. Atiku Abubaka could not even be able to condemn a criminality against an innocent girl, Deborah, when Deborah was killed. He could not be able to come out openly and condemn the death of Deborah. He couldn't condemn it because of his people. He had to dance to their tune. He has to dance to their, Even when he tweeted, mistakenly he tweeted, and his people called him. They called him and warned him. What did he do? He ran. He ran and went and denied the tweet. He denied it that he was not the one that tweeted, that somebody tweeted on his behalf. Okay, you were not the one that tweeted. Now, what is your own opinion regarding the death of that girl? He didn't say anything. Up to today, as you're watching the video. Up to today, as you're watching the video, instead, he blamed Deborah. And you are there, thinking that you are somehow, how are you going to change? Tell me, how is your Peter Obi and whatever is going to maneuver and change things in that Zoological Republic? How? What is he going to change? What? What is he going to change? Go and listen to the video I posted before that. That video I posted. Kwon Koso was saying it. And when I mentioned Kwon Koso, Kwon Koso is not an, not an ordinary politician in the, in, in, in the North. When you talk about the people who have the power in the North, people who decide what happens in the North, Kwon Koso is one of them. Kwon Koso is one of the people that turns things around in the North. He was one of them. He has been all in the world. He was a former general. That person Kwon Koso is seen. A military man, a former general, just like your, your late Muhammad Buhari. Kwon Koso is another general. These are the people who know the in and out of this world. And let me tell you, if somebody is deceiving you that there are people who, that Nigeria is meant for everyone, Nigeria is not meant for you from Biafra land. Not only Biafra, people from the southern part of Nigeria, Nigeria is not meant for you. Nigeria is meant for, Nigeria is created and meant for the British and the Full and the caliphate. The Nigeria is for them. It's not for you. Stop deceiving yourself. Stop deceiving yourself, thinking that Nigeria is not meant for you. It is not meant for you. If you are deceiving yourself somehow, somewhat, thinking that it is not meant for you, the earlier you get that into your head, the better for you. Go and check that video. After listening to that video I shared, after listening to that video, you will now realize that there is no hope for you. Mainly you that is a beer friend, the Igbo beer friend, there's no hope for you. There's no hope for you. You saw somebody in a national television telling you that nobody, no Northern, no Northern voter, he didn't miss war though. He didn't try to pay the war. He told that no Northern voter, no Northern voter will give his or her vote to anybody from Biafra land. That they cannot do it, they will not. No matter what, that they can never, ever give their vote to anybody from Biafra land. The Igbo beer friends mainly. He said it. He didn't miss one in saying it. And when you talk about being the vice president of, of, of P2B, he told that he cannot, he cannot, he cannot be vice president to anybody. Unless P2B will come to serve him. The person that who, who is calling P2B to come and serve him, go and check from every angle. He is not a match to P2B in any angle. He's not a match. But yet, at the end of the day, don't be surprised, you begin to see P2B going to serve him. And either he serves P2B or P2B serve him, nothing will change. Your condition will remain worse. It doesn't matter where you are. Anybody from the southern part of Nigeria, your condition will get worse. It will be worse than it is today. And if you don't know who Kwon Koso is, go and listen to that voice message. 
the voice message that was released, immediately this man took over. Immediately, Jonathan was overthrown. Go and check that voice message. And if you cannot find it, go and join my program, 7.30 p.m. 7.30 p.m. Biafra time on, uh, on, on YouTube. Join me. Join me there and you will see things for yourself. You are going to see things for yourself. I'm going to play so many videos that it's going to blow your mind. Join me there. And as you're watching, please share the video. Share the video. Let it reach everybody. Share the video. And you can equally support with stars. If you have a star to support, support. We will continue to work. Anything you will do. For, let me tell you, Biafra struggle is no longer a child's play. It is no longer a child's play. If you think it's a child's play, you better think again. You better think, if you think it's a child's play, this is no longer a time where we talk and we begin to shout and talk and talk next year, next year, next 20 years. Next. Biafra is coming. Biafra is coming. The restoration of Biafra has started. It has started. It has started. You heard our brother Samuel Epa, the call is making. You heard the call that our brother Samuel Epa is making. The strong call that he's making. It is not a joke. It is no longer a child's play. If you know any contribution you can make to actualize Biafra, this is the time. The unification of the whole Biafrans have started. It has started. And every Biafrans people are coming under one umbrella to fight this battle once and for all. To fight the battle one, it is not a child's play, it's not a joke. We are facing people who have the money. They have the money, they have the connection, they have the backup from all angles. But for us, Biafran, I say it, whom do we have? We have Chukwoku Kabyama. We have the gods of our land. We have our land to stand for us. And when you have Chukwoku Kabyama, you have everything. This is why you must not be afraid. You must not be afraid. When you see them carrying a of weapon and ammunition coming to Biafra, don't shake, don't shiver, don't trouble. You see them today in a country where there is no war, the military are raising a red flag in Biafra land. They are raising a red flag in Biafra land. But we don't, we don't bother because before they raise their red flag, remember our Supreme Leader Mazen Nandekan have already raised a dragon flag. Mazen Nandekan raised a dragon flag and he said that the dragon flag will never go down until Biafra comes. Some of you are so forgetful. But those of us who are hardcore followers of Mazen Nandekan, we don't forget. We never forget. I never forget the Mr. Masin Nankano. That is why every time I come online, I encourage people to please, please, as much as you can, try to listen to Mrs. Masin Nankano. At least, even if for if it's five minutes or ten minutes on a daily basis, give a time to listen to old messages of Masin Nankano. You are going to be energized. You are going to have so many answers to your questions. If you are one of those who is confused, don't be confused anymore. It is no longer time to sit on the fence. If you are one of those, don't be confused. Make sure you pay attention. Mainly people in Biafra land, pay attention and listen to Voice of Biafra. Voice of Biafra Radio, 97.5 FM. Connect to that 97.5 FM. Any place you are in Biafra land, try to connect. And that same Biafra Radio, it needs sponsorship also. It needs sponsorship. Any place you are and you're not getting the radio, you can sponsor it by yourself. You can sponsor it by yourself. All you need to do is to reach out to Abraham Samuel Eba. You can reach out to Umada, reach out to Umada, reach out to someone ever, and then the radio will be on your arena. Everything that is being done in the struggle is done by you and I, the Biafrans. What we do is what is going to be Biafra. Nobody's going to do it for you. It is what you do and what I do. That is what is going to be Biafra for us. That is what is going to give us Biafra. No man anywhere is going to dash you Biafra. No international community is going to bring it for you. No lawyer anywhere is going to give it to you. Nobody will give it. It is you and I that will take the Biafra by ourselves. We we'll take it. So, if you are in area, if you call your people in 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 in, in Biafra land and they say they are not hearing voice of Biafra, you can sponsor it and make sure that there is a voice of Biafra in your area. You can do it. It is not expensive. It is not above men. We have so many Biafrans who can do it. We have so many Biafrans who are capable in every nook and cranny of Biafra land, in every state, in every village in Biafra land. There are people who can sponsor what in order. Let us put our hands together and make sure that the voice of Biafra is in every street. Let it be street by street, home by home, village by village, everywhere. Let there be voice of Biafra so that people will be getting first hand information of the way forward. Because in the weird place that we are now, there is no time to waste. Biafra restoration has started. It has started. And information is key. Information is key. We must have to continue to pass information. That is why every single one of us has to be coming out on a daily basis to broadcast. And when you are joining the broadcast, give your support the best way you can by sharing the video. Let the video go viral. 
Share is even to our enemies. Share to everybody. Let the video be moving. Share the video. If you are not sure, share the video. Let it get across to all the people that are listening. People that need to get information, let get it. Call your family in Nigeria. Give them the necessary information. Tell them things that will happen and how things are going to happen. The sit at home continues. The sit at home. You can see that the sit at home is unstoppable. They have tried and tried and tried and tried to stop us. But they can't stop the sit at home. They cannot. They have tried and tried and tried. They couldn't stop it. All they are focusing on now is blackmail. They are now pushing blackmail. They are now pushing blackmail, black, pushing blackmail from pillar to pole. But their blackmail can never, ever stand. It can't stand. It can't stand. They tried to sit at home, tried and up to today, Bia France are sitting at home. Even today, Bia France are sitting at home. Massively. Bia France are sitting at home. Whether they report it or don't report it, we have getting our report. We are getting a report on the ground. Bia France are sitting at home. And Bia France on their own embrace the sit at home because they know that Mazen Nanekano is the only genuine man who is genuinely seeking for their own freedom. And anything we can sacrifice for Mazen Nanekano, it's worth it. No sacrifice is too much to give for the freedom of Mazen Nanekano and the coming of Biafra. And the freedom of every other Biafra that is being held captive. That is why we continue to speak on daily basis. We continue to add our opinion. We continue to speak up. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter the attack they bring. It doesn't matter how they try to oppress us. We can't be oppressed. We can't be suppressed. We will continue to send out the information. We will continue to pass the information, the right information. You must pay attention. Don't allow yourself to be blackmailed. There are a lot of blackmail out there. They are using the pictures of Mazin Nandekan, using the photo of Mazin Nandekan, using the message of Mazin Nandekan to blackmail. Don't allow anybody to blackmail you. Remember our memory verse here. The memory verse we have in this channel is what? You might remember. If you have forgotten, remember our memory verse in this very broadcast. Our memory verse is consistency is the key. Let that be in your heart at all times. Consistency is the key. That is our memory verse here. Consistency is the key. Everything you are doing to actualize Biafra, it must be consistent. Continue to demand for the freedom of Biafran people, nothing else. We are not interested in their Igbo presidency, in a Fulani presidency, in a Edo presidency, whichever presidency they're talking about. We are not interested. Restructuring, we are not interested. Resources control, we are not interested. All we want is what? Biafra. That is all. Self-determination, that is what we're asking for. And we are asking for self-determination through a referendum, not through war. We are not calling for war. Self-determination through a referendum. But since they have decided to choose a different path, if they decide, if they decide that they want to choose a different path, if they want to choose this part of war, let me tell you, Bia France are more than capable to defend themselves. We, Bia France, we are more than capable to defend ourselves. We are more than capable. And that is why our brother Sam America have raised the bar. He has raised the bar. When he called for 50 men from Bia France land, let me tell you, we have more than 50 billionaires in Bia France land. We have more than 50 men who can give $10,000 a month for the solution of Bia France. We have more than that. But Master Simon Eka have raised the bar to call for that call. And if you know where you are hiding, if you know where you are hiding, this is time to come out. If you know where you belong, any area you belong, you better come out. You better come out. This is the time to restore Biafra. It is not even for you, for your unborn children, for your generation to come. Those of you who want to write their name in gold, I know some of you who are proud. So many people in Biafra are proud. They want to show their pride. They want to show their money. They want to show they have money. They go and throw money around in the public. They waste money in the public, throw money, but just so people to clap for them. They waste money, even give money to people who don't need it. This is no longer time to waste money. It's no longer time to throw money around. If you want to write your name in gold, write your name in gold. Join among the 50 men. Join among the 50 men that will sponsor the coming of Biafra. Do it. And in six months, if you don't see any change, in six months, if you don't raise the black of Biafra, then you know that, that something different is happening. The challenge has been given. For those of you who have been saying, we are talking, we are talking, we are talking, you were, how, what, the time and how to achieve Biafra have not been stated. It has been stated. You're not going to achieve Biafra with empty hand. We are fighting people who has all the weapon. They have all the money. They have all the connection. And we are supposed to match them weapon to weapon, money to money, strength to strength. That is how we can overcome them. And we can only achieve that if we are willing. And we can volunteer ourselves. Everything that Mazin Nadekra have achieved today is by volunteering. It's by people like you and I. 
We have been volunteering. Every achievement that Biafra has made today through Mazin Nanikan is through volunteer force. Including the ESN you are seeing, they are volunteer force. Nobody's paying them a dime. You can't pay any man for his or her life. You can't. You can't pay anybody for his or her life. But people gave their life, put their life on the line to defend Biafra and make sure that Biafra comes. And they are fighting day and night. They are facing the bullet day and night against all odds. With all the challenges that are coming from all corners for all that, yet they are standing firm. None of them is relented. It doesn't matter what anybody thinks. It doesn't matter what anybody does. They are standing firm and making sure that our land is safe. And what do you have to do? It is your responsibility to support them. It's your, it is your responsibility to fund the coming of Biafra. It is no longer time to waste. No longer time to talk too much. Most of the time, you see people come on a conversation. They say, we are just talking, 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 talking. The time for action have come. Those of you who are typing that we are talking and talking, time for action have come. And action have been called. If you know you are one of those who are choosing, those who have been blessed by Chukwu Kabiyama because of the coming of Biafra. There are so many people that have been blessed because of today. Chukwu Kabiyama have blessed so many people because of today. Because of today that we are in. Chukwu Kabiyama have blessed many people because of today. And as we are in that day, if you do not turn around, if you don't come out to do the purpose which the Lord has blessed you for, he is going to take away the blessing from you. That is for sure. If you don't come and use that your blessing, that your wealth, for the purpose Chukwu Kabiyama gave it to you, he is going to take it back. Send the video out to anybody. You never know who can meet the video. You never know who can hear us. To save life, to save them from their predicament. If you are one of those who is capable to be able to fund the coming of Biafra, to fund the agitation, and you are keeping silent, Chukwu Kabiyama is going to take your wealth away from you. It is not a cost, but it's a reality. Because each time Chukwu Kabiyama gave you something, any blessing you are giving, you are giving you a blessing for a purpose. People are not blessed only because of themselves. People are not blessed because of themselves alone. People are blessed because of others. So many people you see in the planet Earth that are rich are blessed. They we are blessed because of the responsibility they have to carry. That is why when you see rich men, when you see rich men, don't be too envious. Don't be jealous because they are carrying responsibilities. They are carrying heavy responsibilities. Even when they don't meet up to your own need, they are carrying other needs. Don't think that when they don't favor you, they don't favor you. They are favoring people. So it becomes a problem when Chukwu Gama gives you that wealth and you are not using it to touch the life that you're supposed to touch. When you become greedy and not touching the life you're supposed to touch, he will take away the wealth from you. Definitely, he will take it away from you. But let me tell you, the time has come when you have to come out. You have to come out. There is no more sitting in defense. No more lies and blackmail. No more talking trash. No more blackmailing. No more analyzing videos of your brother instead of saying that which is needful. This is time to come out. And no more sitting in the fence. Stop sitting on the fence. Biafra must come. It doesn't matter what anybody does. It doesn't matter what anybody says. Biafra will definitely come. And we are in that time. That time we have been talking about. This is the time. The time to actualize Biafra is this now. It is either now or never. So let us continue to preach the message. If you know any role you are going to play, any gift that you know that you are, being, you are given, wherever you are being gifted in, if you are gifted in broadcasting, you are gifted to fight along, you are gifted to be a prayerist, you are gifted to volunteer, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are gifted to be one of the people who are sitting at home, you are gifted, any area you have your gift, this is the time to apply that gift. Apply the gift. And for those of you who are deceiving themselves, taking that one kind, you can get a, you are looking for a cheap way out. There is no cheap way out of the Zoological Republic. There is no cheap and easy way to make life better in the Zoological Republic. If anybody is telling you about a cheap way, that person is deceiving you. Freedom doesn't come easy. If you want to face reality, you must have to be ready for what is about to happen. It is going to get tougher. If I tell you that it's going to be easy, it is not going to be easy. It is going to be much more tough. Any place you're watching me from, including Biafra land, prepare yourself for what is about to come. Let me tell you, the only hope you have to have is that Chukwu Kabiyama is backing you up. Every single Biafra that is in Biafra line, Chukwu Kabiyama is backing you up. As long as you are genuine, as long as you are a genuine Biafra fighting the cause of Biafra, the, the bullet of the enemy will never, never touch you. The bullet of the enemy will never touch you. You are going to witness Biafra. But if you are one of the saboteurs or you're still in defense, you are still saying you are sure or you're not sure, well, 
when one Nigeria happens to you, don't blame anybody. When one Nigeria begins to happen to you, do not blame anybody because it will definitely happen to you. But for those who are genuinely with their whole heart pursuing the freedom of Biafra, not by blackmailing, not by pretense, those people, Chukwu Kamara protest them. And if you claim to be a Biafran and they are using you as a blackmail against the IPOB, they are using you as a blackmail against Master Simon Eber, they are using you as a blackmail against the ESN, your days are numbered. You must definitely go down. Your days are numbered. Your days are numbered. Including all these governors you are seeing and all the senators. We have seen all the lies they are peddling. Go to their platform, go to social media. You see the kind of pictures they are bringing. Why the not not are protecting themselves? They are busy cooking up blackmail against ESN. They will go and catch a courtist. They will tell the courtist to confirm that the courtist is a member of ESN. Confess to be a member of ESN and they will leave you. And the person will confess. They will go and catch a criminal and they will tell him to confess to be a member of ESN. And after the person has confessed to be a member of ESN, they will leave the person. They will begin to they will continue to send all these videos to blackmail you and make us change our mind. We can never stop. If you like, paint all of us criminals, paint all of us killers, paint all of our unknown gunmen. We cannot stop. We will continue to fight for freedom. If you like, paint all of us with evil name. We cannot stop. We already know that you are giving the dog a bad name to kill it. But we cannot allow you. We will not allow you. No matter the name you give to us, no matter the blackmail you bring, it cannot stand. We are going home. We are go what matters to all of us is that we are going home. Biafra is our destination. And we are not asking for anything more. There's nothing we are demanding for you. We are not seeking for anything from you. All we need is our nation, Biafra. Our freedom is what we want. In Biafra land, of course, there will be no election. There will be no election in Biafra. It is not in my, we did this in the time of uh, an Anambra, Anambra election and, and, uh, and some, some, some clowns joined them and be able to do it. This time around, it is no longer business as usual. In this time around, more leak, more leak are now joining force. Every Biafran group, every Biafran agitation group, they are coming together. I'm talking about the sincere ones, the legitimate Biafran agitators, they are merging together. They are merging together to have a strong force to speak in one voice. And what does that tell you? That tells you of what is going to happen. 2023 will mark the Biafra. We are going to celebrate Biafra. 2023, we are going to celebrate. It doesn't matter what anybody is saying. It doesn't matter the propaganda they bring. 2023. Mark it and see it, write it somewhere. It is going to come to pass. We can't wait anymore. As they are preparing for their election that we we'll never hold, we are preparing for a referendum. The only thing that can happen in 2023 in Biafra is a referendum. That's the only thing that will happen. Let those who are deceiving themselves continue deceiving themselves. They can continue. If you are one of those who is still confused, go and watch that video I posted before I came online. Go and watch it, what Kwan is saying. After hearing Kwankoso, somebody that Kwankoso is speaking in that manner, you will now know that your Igbo presidency and your Peter Obi cannot make any headway. It doesn't matter how you pretend. It doesn't matter how you try to blackmail us. Blackmailing the Biafran people cannot give you presidency. Blackmailing Biafran people cannot make you go to Asarok. And blackmailing Biafran people cannot make us stop asking for our freedom. The more you blackmail us, the more we work strong. The more you blackmail us, the more we come out. The more we blackmail us, the more we stand firm and demand for that which is ours. May Chukwu Kukabe my God and protect everybody that has joined me on this broadcast. Any plus you have connected from. If you are joining from Biafra land, you are joining from Asia, from Europe, from America, whichever part of the world you are joining the broadcast from, I say may Chukwu Kukabe my God and protect you. We will continue until Biafra come. No amount of blackmail can stop us from asking for Biafra. We will continue to demand for our nation Biafra until Biafra comes. We we'll continue to demand for it. You can't blackmail us into, into going to any election. You can't do that. And we cannot allow that to happen. We are busting them. What we see, what we see now, they can't, even in the next 10 years, they have not seen it. What we are seeing, in the next 10 years, they won't see it. Just like when you see our eternal leader, Dimo Odumegojuku, saw that restructuring was the solution. Then, then and then, then and then, he saw that restructuring was the only solution, but yet they rejected it. But today, after so many years, they are not talking about restructuring today. Mazin Nandakani came and told them what is happening, what the Fulani is going to do, the Fulani agenda. Some people called him names. 
He told them about the insecurity that is going to happen. Some people called him names. Today, everything that Martin Akin has said in the past, all those of them are claiming to be elders. They will say a young man, he was down there during the civil war. He wasn't there during the civil war. He didn't fight the civil war. But what he saw, what he has seen about Nigeria, none of them who claim to be during the time of civil war have seen it. None of them was able to see what Martin Nanakam saw. And they will tell you that what an elder sees sitting down, that if a young man stands on the tree, he will not see it. What do you see? You see nothing. You see nothing. The right language is that what the Biafra agitators have seen, what the followers of Mazin Nanakan is seeing, what Mazin Nanakan is seeing, sleeping. If you wake up for 100 years, you cannot see it. What Mazin Nanakan is seeing, sitting, you can't see it for next one. Go and climb the highest mountain, you can't see it. So the earlier you wake up and begin to listen to the right person, the better for you. Mazin Nanakan remains the only solution. Take it or leave it. He has given the solution. Self-determination and referendum is the only way forward. Only way forward after the referendum. If after the referendum, Biafra decide they're going to be part of the Zoological Republic, so be it. Then we remain there. But if after referendum, they choose to go, we go home. You can't stop us. Likewise, you do what people. Oh, do what people are standing their ground also. They are making waves. They've already collected their 5 million signatures. They are doing so many things on the ground. In the, in the middle back, they are doing their own part. The diversity in the zoological public is a diversity that can never allow things to mix up. It's like water and oil. Water and oil cannot mix. It doesn't matter how you try to shake it. After shaking it, after shaking it, you leave it, it will stay separate. Everyone will go in separate ways. That is what is in the zoological republic. The people are different. There is no way we meet, no resemblance of any kind. Our culture is not the same. Our ideology is not the same. It is not the same, and we never be. It will never be. Our value system is not the same, and we never, ever be. We never be. The earlier they allow people to go their separate way, the better. And the more you continue to hold people, the more they continue to create destruction to the Zulu Republic. May Chukwu Kabim will guide and protect. Everybody has joined me on this broadcast from beginning to end. I pray that Chukwu Kabim will guide and protect you, secure you, and give you knowledge and wisdom to continue to focus. Prepare yourself. You have seen what is happening in Biafra land. As they are bringing tank to Biafra land, do not be afraid. Don't shake. Don't be afraid. Stand firm and stand strong. Chukwu Kabim is standing by you. Just be careful. If you need to go out, go out. If you don't have anything to do outside, stay in your home. Any day you hear, sit at home. Sit at home. Don't wait for anybody to come and tell you. Sit at home. You already know that Monday is it. Every Monday, just like today, sit at home. Sit at home. This is the only way to be focused and stay alive and again make Biafra actualize. That is it. Sitting at home will save your life. It will save you a lot of expenses. It will save you a lot of trouble. So why wouldn't you sit at home? For the struggle, for the release of Martin Nankan and release of all other Biafra that are in captivity. You must have to sit at home. And remember, any day you hear about any election, you hear about any mega rally, any day you hear about mega rally, any place you are and hear it, bring the information out. That day is a sit at home. Any day you hear, even by rumor, that there will be a mega rally, call your neighbors, call your brothers and sisters, talk to us, any contact you have, tell them that a mega rally is coming up. And that day will be marked as a sit at home. Total lockdown of Biafra land, because we cannot allow them to have any rally in Biafra land. And regarding to the election, as the election is approaching, the way they, any day they announce the election, any day they announce it, that day we'll start our seat at home. Biafra land will be locked down completely. So prepare, prepare yourself if you're in Biafra land. We are going into a very difficult stage, a stage where things are going to begin to happen. We are going into a difficult stage and everybody must prepare him or herself. Let's get prepared for the future. Let's get prepared. Things are going to happen. Let's get prepared. Don't be deceived. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted or deceived. Things are happening already. Things are happening already and more are going to happen. May Chukwu Kukabe my guide and protect every hand that have shared this video. Everybody has supported on this very platform from beginning to the end. I say may Chukwu Kukabe my guide and protect you. Please, as I always say, connect to me on my other platform. Connect to me on YouTube. Chuk Survivor, Survivor YouTube. Chuk Survivor YouTube channel. Just type Chuk Survival on YouTube. When you go to Chuk Survival, you subscribe and click the notification bell so that when I'm online, you can be able to see it and you can join. I'm going to play some out 
from some videos over there i'm going to share some other information there that i cannot share here i will share it over there and also join my other page uh choose for survivor page go to the page and also connect and share continue to do what you are doing any support you can give you can see over here thank god here they have lifted the ban we have been having a ban here before we cannot be able to have a star here but now they have lifted the ban if you want to support the platform you want to support the page you can send a star when you are sending a star, you are supporting this page to make this page to be more stronger, to make the page to be able to be expanded. So as you are joining, if you can send a star, you send a star. It is not compulsory. It's not compulsory. If you want to support, just send a star. It is welcome. Whatever you can do to support the struggle, whatever you can do to support, don't fail to do that. In the support of ESN, support the ESN. The information to support ESN is always there. Don't wait until the day of fundraising. Don't wait until fundraising before you begin to support ESN. The contact to support ESN is there. The contact just through the website. If you go to the website, you make your donation. It is going to that right direction. Today, we have a credible hand that can have. At least you have people you can hold responsible. Our brother Simon Eber and Madam Azuka, they are in charge. They take responsibility of everything. Whatever happens, hold them responsible. And they are ready to give you account of everything on a daily basis. As you want it. All you need to be is to be part of the, just be part of the 1,000 men. And you'll be getting full detail of what is going on. However the money is being spent, whatever is being done, you're going to get the first set information. And if you're one of those who is going to join the 50 men, that's going to be paying $10,000 per month, if you're capable, join it. Write your name in gold in Biafra land. The land of Biafra will never forget you. The land of Biafra will never reject you. The land of Biafra will never allow you to see shame. Biafra is coming in the speed. No man born of a woman can stop it. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter how you plan it. Biafra is definitely going to come. And it's coming in the speed. It's coming. So don't allow anybody to cajole you or blackmail you. May Chukwu Kukamea God and protect every one of you that has supported this very channel. Every one of you that have shared this video. I say may Chukwu Kukamea God and protect you. May Chukwu Kukamea continue to secure every one of us. May Chukwu Kukamea God and protect our brother Simon Eba. Protect him, secure him. Continue to pray for someone else. He is facing a great challenge. The challenge he facing is not easy. It's not every face those challenge that continue to stand. We have to continue to pray for him. And then pray for Mazin Nandekano. Wherever Mazin Nandekano is, continue to pray for Mazin Nandekano for strength. Continue to pray for Mazin Nandekano for wisdom. Continue to pray for Mazin Nandekano for protection. Every poison they have given to Mazin Nandekano, those poison will never have effect. Chukwu Okakabian will send doctors spiritually to continue to militar for Mazin Nandekano. No weapon formed or fashion against Mazin Nandekano shall prosper. Are yet to wake up from your slumber or your sleep and get the point that we are exiting Nigeria. Exiting Nigeria is not going to come from the platter of Godi plate. You have to sacrifice for it. And we are ready to sacrifice everything, including you. If you come and stand in the way of freedom. So you need to know how serious we are. We are damn serious. Some of you are not getting it. You think we are here to, to make to build political movement? We are here for freedom. Freedom come with price. Okay? The only thing you can do is to comment on social media. Don't ever stand on the way of Biafra freedom. We we'll crush you. Their interest is suppressed. Biafra is the key. Once they can hold Biafra down, they can hold all of Africa down. <laughs> Hey, freedom fighting, sorry. Because all these people are criminals, they are saying there is no way this man cannot be a criminal like themselves. They don't have a different breed altogether. They don't know that. I am an Namdekan. I don't do all this nonsense you do. My father was a very rich man, not ostentatious. I had the finest education that his money could afford. We are not poor. Have never been. That is why a poor man cannot be a freedom fighter. If you are not full of yourself, you cannot be a freedom fighter. You cannot take everywhere. We must continue.